Hello everyone, I'm Lynn Gordon, Vice President of Business Development for Arconis. Recently I had the chance to catch up with one of our amazing product partners, Britta Forrest, CEO of USM Airport Systems. As many of you know, USM Airport Systems creates these beautiful and durable modular counter solutions using their unique patented system. USM has responded to the COVID-19 crisis by adapting their products to meet the urgent requirements of terminal operators and to give them the tools they need to help passengers feel safe. I hope you enjoy our chat. So thanks for joining me today, Britta, from your home and a beautiful painting in the background. <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> Great. So for those, you know, USM obviously is a, a very well-known global brand and but it's relatively new in the company's history uh, to the airport industry. So if you could tell us a little bit about USM and what is the concept behind the product? Okay, so the concept of USM is a patent, or I think you say patent, that was <laughs> registered in um, 1965 by the owner of um, USM, that is the father of the now owner. And the patent is a brass chromed ball. I hope you can see that. Yes. A connector, which you just screw into the ball and a tube. This is our smallest tube, that's 10 centimeters. And you put that over the connector and when you fasten or tighten the connector with a number five Allen key, that is the patent. And that is basically the framework of all our furniture. So if you were to add another connector here and another tube, you could fasten it and you would do that into a square and that would be the framework of one panel. So you then clip a steel panel into that framework and that is held by the tension of the tubing. So there's no glue, there's no nothing. And the panels, they come in 14 different colors. They are powder coated. So the whole system is made of steel, which makes it very sturdy. And that is basically the concept behind USM. The concept is, so to speak, modularity. It's 100% mod modular, so you can just build and build and build. And um, we've introduced it to the airport world because we noticed that um, due to the modularity, it becomes very versatile. And that's what seems to be what airports are looking for, a versatile, very robust solution. Thanks for that, Britta. Uh, tell me, what, what aspects of USM make it particularly well suited to public spaces like terminals, passenger terminals, and healthcare applications? Um, I think the fact that um, the, the, the product has zero fire load is probably the main USP for um, public spaces. Mm -hmm. So that's something that planners and architects are always looking for. Um, because it's steel, it doesn't burn, so we don't have to treat anything. And um, that, of course, is very interesting for public spaces. And um, as far as healthcare is concerned, um, we've been delivering to um, chemists and um, uh, doctors' practices and hospitals for near to 50 years now. So um, we know the product in that field. It's very easy to clean. And um, we always find that um, no customer wants the same thing. So every customer is looking for his own personal requirements. And because it's totally modular, we can adapt to that. Um, we can deliver from things like small little caddies to whole um, uh, back rooms even. We've even built um, sort of uh, at the back of a a um, info desk, an entire room made of USM. So the walls are all USM. So it's not just small little units. It's, you know, the sky's the limit, really. Well, I remember seeing a video that you, you guys produced that uh, I think it was from a trade show in Italy, and you actually built an entire room 
yeah. uh, in time lapse photography and the room was enormous and but the structure itself was you know quite impressive so I, I do remember that yeah um, so you know obviously the world has changed quite dramatically since January with with the with COVID-19 and uh, the the extreme impact that it's had on the aviation and airport industry and there's a lot of um, talk now about what the new uh, world is going to look like what a new airport you know is going to look like in the boarding process and all that stuff and so what has USM airport systems done to adapt your solutions to the challenges we're facing now in with COVID-19? Um, I think the main thing that we are now offering um, our customers, and it's often customers that have already actually ordered um, USM counters, so check-in counters, gate counters, boarding pass control, or information desks at airports, um, is a um, type of shield. So it's glass, obviously, and um, if you have the surface of your, your counter, we then add, exactly as we've seen before, the connector and the tube, and, um, and then we add glass panelling. So um, okay. that creates a shield between um, the agent and the customer. And the other thing we have also um, come up with are some solutions for when passengers land off the aircraft and they come into the gate and um, the airports want to test passengers either their temperature or they want to give them um, disinfectant solution or masks or something like that. We've come up with some small caddies. Um, they can be um, then signed with a red cross if need be to show that this is a health screening station or something like that. Um, and those uh, two solutions we've found have been quite popular. I, I can imagine because there's a lot of talk in the industry right now of, of where those health checks are going to take place and by whom and how and and so this solution uh, that you're providing is is gives them a, I guess people a, a toolbox to use and I imagine that the nice thing the adaptability of your product is probably very well suited to this because hopefully when not if when this this crisis passed that the caddy can take on a whole new useful life. Well, yes, I mean, that's also a, a possibility. Um, it can either be um, totally dismantled and integrated into something else, or um, we could, for example, a caddy like that can be used as a, a mobile check-in unit or a um, ETD cabinet, so an explosive trace detective uh, cabinet or um, a small boarding pass control cabinet. What, whatever is needed, really, we can um, modify it to fit the new needs. So is, is that what you would say to, say, a client that is, you know, wondering, do I need to really invest in a quality product for this kind of function if the crisis is going to be uh, for a limited period of time? What would you say to that uh, that customer? Well, I think we, we've now discovered that um, limited amount of time can come and go. So um, we might have to go into lockdown again. And um, for example, these glass screens, they can be mounted and then dismounted. Or um, we can um, modify anything that has been ordered to um, to something else. And I think the, the great thing with um, our system or our software is that we can, um, if we have a little caddy, say we've, we've delivered a small caddy and the customer says, well, I really don't need that anymore. And I'm looking for a checking counter, for example, we can theoretically um, with our software input the new request of the customer, input what he already has and the system basically spits out the parts that um, he doesn't have yet. So we only deliver the parts he doesn't have. And uh, um, so we, we, we would not just say to the customer, here are all the missing parts, you know, get on with it. We'd never do that. That's not USM-like at all. Um, we would build it for them. But um, it just makes um, 
it makes it not only completely modular, but also 100% sustainable. Well, well, I think that's really an, an important aspect of your product is the sustainability, because I was on a webinar recently that they, you know, there was a lot of discussion about the impact of the current crisis and whether, you know, a bit of a genuine fear that people will forget about sustainability and and the and the environmental um, you know the importance of the environmental aspects of a product or a terminal or a space uh, because they're dealing with the issue of this current crisis but the so the so the adaptability I would say uh, do you think that speaks to the your life cycle the the long life cycle costs of your product and and, and how it helps with the environment? Absolutely. And additionally, we are a Swiss company. So um, not only is it extremely important that the, the, um, the materials we use are of the utmost high standard, um, but that everything is reused, not only the packaging that we send out, but also um, that the customer, if in 50 years he wants to adapt his um, unit, he can do so. I mean, we, we have literally customers who have bought pieces many, many years ago and are wanting to extend uh, a, a counter or a sideboard or whatever. And um, he can do that because we have all the parts. The parts actually have not changed. And it's exactly the same 14 standard colors they are exactly the same shade, so there's nothing to worry about. It will 100% fit. That does sound very Swiss, <laughs> but I have and and I and I appreciate that because I don't I don't think a lot of uh, people realize how long USM has been around, how it's been such a design classic mostly in the in 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 the residential and the the uh, commercial space in, in that world i don't think people realize how long usm has been around and how really famous it is in that round if because it's relatively new to airports and uh, how many years now have you been with the air with them since 2014 around then we we, so, we started the project actually in 2011 but it took a while to start and in 2014 we launched the website and we we made it more accessible yeah that's and, and that's wonderful and i think one, one of the other things that i love about uh your product is that as technology evolves and it, of course technology evolves at a much more rapid rate than a piece of furniture per se uh, that so the technology that uh, our airport and airline clients will be uh, using may change. Tell me a little bit about how your system can adapt to those technology changes. Well, the example I like to use um, is a scanner. So um, scanners change every few years. So when you're putting your your boarding pass on the scanner to to board the plane, they change every few years. And um, if you have that integrated into your system, which we often do, um, we uh, make a cutout and we, we mount it into the system. And if that changes, then um, if you have a wood mill piece of furniture, often you have to discard it completely and start again. And with us, it's just a matter of one panel. So um, we just click out the, the, the one panel, we would change the mount because the scanners usually get smaller and smaller and, <laughs> um, and make a new cutout and that's it. And, and, and I can imagine that that's a great benefit because when with traditional mill work, uh, I mean, you would have to essentially rebuild a new counter or at least a large part of it uh, with on-site labor and that sort of thing. So for for your product, it would just be a matter of ordering a, a, a part based on a spec. It's, it, I, I, I really love that story um, behind your product. It's, I think it's a great environmental story. So, um, and I know that you have also adapted the product. I mean, you have been, yes, parts of it has stayed the same, uh, for 50 years, but you've also brought in some interesting features 
uh, I'm thinking a little bit about your unique system with the power through the the rods and the USB and the lighting. I mean that that is a that didn't exist 50 years ago for sure. So you, may, no. you, you can tell me a little bit about uh, about some of those you know kind of the newer uh, features of the product that are, are relatively recent uh, adoptions. So we have something called Hala E, which is um, as you said, the lighting, and that comes in a cool white and a warm white. Mm -hmm. And um, that is completely cable free. So um, the the um, power, it comes into the system with a cable, but then runs cable, three, cable free through the tubing. And that also, um, or we can also offer a USB port so that when agents are standing um, at their desk, they are able to also charge their telephones or their iPads or whatever is, is required. Or, or a temperature scanner. <laughs> or or whatever is needed, yeah. <laughs> when um, you think about it. Yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit, uh, one of my, the wonder most wonderful stories uh, that you've told me over the years, and we've had a we've had a great pleasure of working together now for a few years. Is is why like you have some interesting connections to aviation yourself personally, but also the owner of the company. I think you both have a bit of a a, a, a love, passion, and connection to aviation. Can you tell me a little bit about? I, the story. I love the story of how you actually ended up getting into, like, creating USM airport systems in the first place from USM. But also a little bit about your your personal background. Um, well, the owner of um, USM Airport Systems, um, actually, the owner of USM and the owners of USM Airport Systems, um, are all very aviation fanatic. And um, there's a few of us around. 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 And I think to be in this industry, you really have to be um, an aviation fan. And I've actually spent um, since I left university at the age of 24. Um, I firstly worked for a um, a company called Cargo Lux. Um, they had at the time, I think, 14 Boeing 747s. And um, we, we, they are the biggest European cargo um, company um, uh, moving freight around the world. Um, I then went on to work for um, a company that charted out um, Russian aircraft, so Antonov, Antonovs and Tupolevs and Ilyushins. Oh and um, then I went on to work for actually an American airline who um, leased out and sold um, Boeing 747 aircraft. So um, I spent approximately five years um, selling airplanes and large <laughs> airplanes. So um, wow. is that, that's how that came about. And um, the, the owner of USM is also a pilot. So the, or should I say the owner of USM Airport Systems has two owners and one of them is also a pilot. And the other one is um, is a very, very keen um, uh, aviation uh, uh, interested person. Yes. <laughs> so, so what you're saying basically is when USM comes into an airport environment or an aviation environment, you pretty much understand the the industry and the requirements and what needs to go into these modular counter systems to 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 really make them a functional part of their business. So, well, I thank you very much, Britta, for for joining me for this chat. I feel like I need a fireplace or something behind me, but uh, <laughs> I've really enjoyed it, and uh, I you know I, I encourage uh, everyone to take a look at some of the solutions that British company is, is pulling together to, to help airports and airlines during this, this pandemic. And uh, we are uh, both myself, Britta, and, and Britta here are uh, here for any questions or uh, if we can be of any service whatsoever. So thank you very much, Britta, for joining me today. And uh, we look forward to 
I would say uh, everything uh, all the way up, <laughs> right? Anything, everything, everything needs to go up from here. <laughs> it really does. It really needs to go up from here. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> Onwards and upwards, yes. Well, thanks very much for, for your time today. Thank you, Lynn.